me, the backs, and you know, really everyone just being on the same page because we know these guys are going to come uh, a lot. I mean, there's. <laughs> that was... How mature. Iowa quarterback, I don't know your name, but Michigan transfer Iowa quarterback guy. Wait, what did he say? One more time. I mean, there's... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I mean, there's... Uh, because we know these guys are going to come uh, a lot. I've... And then he laughs at his silly, stupid joke. This is interesting to see a daily sports podcast, news narratives, takes gambling, etc. Hashtag Tigers are trending. That makes me sad. I don't know. I'm not going to look into that. Baseball is whatever. Right now, we'll deal with it. When the playoffs come, there are a couple races for spots. Whatever. It is football season, and it is Controversial Wednesday, and I have something for you that popped up on Monday and Tuesday, and here we are. But before we get to that, do some football news out of the Big Apple. Football news number one is that Aaron Rodgers apparently complained about play calling. Quote... This is from Zach Rosenblatt. Who the hell is Zach Rosenblatt? Let's just verify our sources here. Zach Rosenblatt has a blue check, so he cares a lot. He covers the Jets for The Athletic. Okay, good enough. That's fine. And he said, Aaron Rodgers had expressed to the Jets coaches, hashtag Jets, great use of Twitter, coaches that he doesn't like the play calls involving the cut blocks because he can't extend the play. It forces him to get rid of the ball quickly. Yeah, Aaron, that's sort of what they want you to do. It failed twice on his four dropbacks. He didn't throw the ball. One resulted in a throwaway. On the other, he got injured when Dwayne Brown's cut failed to stop Leonard Floyd. You're supposed to get rid of the ball on cut blocks, Aaron. But Aaron doesn't want to do that. I have also I have news on Brian Dayball. On the Michael K. Show, who's, he's some New Yorker. I don't know or care. He talks about New York sports. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> Quote, I have it on good authority that Brian Dayball, head coach of the Giants, had a huge party at his house on Saturday night. You're not throwing a big party if you're about to get your butt kicked by the Cowboys. So this took everybody by surprise, and that's what's scary. Nobody expected this sort of blowout. They thought that they were going to play with them, and they didn't even show up. Apparently, he had a big party before the game. A little cocky there from Brian. Let's get to... Controversial Wednesday. It is the Barstool Sports Podcast, Spit and Chicklets. And they, if you've listened to the podcast, I'll, I'll, if you haven't, I'll tell you. I'll fill you in on some information. Here it is. They hate old school coaches that do. And in hockey, old school coaches are, they're still around. One of them is Mike Babcock, who is the, the, the subject of today's episode. And many things. Probably a couple of investigations, too. They hate guys that do the hazing and the torturous stuff. They skate guys. There's a lot of mental games played in the NHL. The NHL is years behind the other leagues in terms of how they treat their players. Other leagues are starting to understand that players matter a lot and relationships and their coworkers. For example, Mike Tomlin famously introduces himself. um, Doesn't want players calling him coach or insinuating that he's their boss, their coworkers. He is their their boss at the game of football, but he's not their boss. The owner is their boss. The GM is their boss. And like, it's not, that's not how it works. It seems like coaches are bosses, but they're not. They're coaches. It's their job. They're talent management and liaisons and project managers and things like that. But in hockey, they see themselves as like the gods of these NHL teams. So like Daryl Sutter has been famously abusive, like very abusive stuff. And these guys rise through the ranks by being abusive. That's how they do it. And that's, you know, just the thinking. And, and there isn't a lot of groupthink. All of them, for the most part, are Canadian. And the ones that aren't are American. And it's just like hockey culture. It's a small world. So this kind of shit bubbles up. So this is something that the Spit and Chicklets... I'm going to play the whole clip from the podcast Spit and Chicklets. And if I get DCMA'd, whatever. This is, the, this is what it sounds like. Uh, courtesy of Spit and Chicklets for all of my listeners and viewers and whatever. Let's do it. They're alleging, I'll, you know, I'll just play the clip and we'll talk about it. This is outrageous, <laughs> dude. I get a text from a, a player. He goes, have you heard what Babcock is up to again? And I'm like, no. So he gets to Columbus. And one of the first things he does is he calls in Boone Jenner, the captain of the team. And he says, let me see the photos in your phone. I want to know the type of person you are. What the f- is going on is that is that even legal I, I, that, I, it feels like it's totally I illegal get him on the podcast to grill him about his antics as a head coach like worry about the f- four check worry about your f- 
your your personnel. Worry about getting the power play humming at an alarming rate so you might have a chicken dick's chance of sneaking in a wild card spot. Why do you want to see throbbing dick pics <laughs> from your captain on his iPhone? Yeah, so and apparently this is of course they're they're alleging something on a podcast now. So this blew up in a really big way. Columbus has issued a statement. Let's read the statement because, and then we'll get into other people's responses on the statement. This is from Mike Babcock. While meeting with our players and staff, I asked them to share off their phones family pictures as part of the process for getting to know them better. There was absolutely nothing more to it than that. The way this was portrayed on the Spit and Chicklets podcast was a gross misrepresentation of those meetings and extremely offensive. These meetings have been very important and beneficial, not only for me, but for our players and our staff as well. And to have them depicted like this is irresponsible. And then Boone Jenner, the guy that this is being alleged, said, quote, while meeting with Babs, he asked me about my family, where I'm from, my upcoming wedding and hockey related stuff. He then asked if I had pictures of my family and I was happy to share some with him. He showed me the picture of my family. I thought it was a great first meeting and a great way to start a relationship to have blown this out of proportional out of proportion is truly disappointing. So they are denying it. And but now this is Boone Jenner who is involved is denying it. So let's see some responses. Here is an anonymous text. These are screenshots from the Spit and Chicklets guys. That story, this is apparently from a player that's been cropped. Who knows? And it doesn't matter if it's been cropped. You can edit anybody's contact information on your phone. That story about iPhones and Babcock is 100% true. Apparently, he did it in Toronto and did it to guys in Columbus already. Says he wants to know what guys have been up to this summer. Love you guys for exposing that. I mean, the part about it being legal definitely feels... Here's, here's another one. Let's do this. You got to sneak into your pod about Babs getting guys to show their photos on the big screen. He's doing it to guys in Columbus. Now, same shit he did to me. Guys need to know what's coming. It's a fucking joke. So apparently, he just wants to airplay the things in their phone. And just to, like, embarrass them, I guess. Here's Mike Commodore. All of this is 100%. Who the hell is Mike Commodore? Cup champ, Nat champ, world champ. Is this someone I should... No, I'm going to Google it real quick. Is he a hockey player? Mike Commodore, ice hockey defenseman. He He's 43 years old, played for Detroit, Columbus, and Carolina. Huh. Well, Mike Commodore said, all of this is 100% true. I heard about this exact same incident out of Seabus Six Seabus. Why don't you say Columbus, dude? You've got the, you've got the characters. It's gonna be fun. Heard about this exact same incident out of Columbus six weeks ago. Recently, I heard about it happening to multiple players and staff. I was waiting till camp to come out with it to protect sources. Listen, this is really specific, and it seems true. You know what I mean? It's one of those things where you're like, you know what? It's and the, the the stuff about Mike Babcock that's been coming out. Here's Paul Bissonnette's response to the responses. If you think Spit and Chickens podcast rolls out that story without confirming it with a member of the team, you need a brain transplant. Bizarre behavior with an with a U. God damn it, Canada! B. You don't need a U in behavior. <sighs> Bizarre behavior from a guy that's done it before and gotten canned for stuff exactly like this. Remember, he coached Toronto when he was supposed to be the guy that turned them around, and he did not do that. This was the text I got to start it off. First, I'd never heard of it, so I called him and got the story. Carrie Babs' water, I don't give a fly. <laughs> believe who you want to believe. The truth will eventually come out. The good news is he won't be invading guys' privacy from a position of power anymore. If you can't understand how bizarre that is, then we just aren't going to be aligned on this. I will say, the Spit and Chickless guys do talk a lot of shit, and when they talk a lot of shit, they get in trouble. They do. Right? But this seems like they've sourced it. And if they allege something that if he got fired for this and they didn't have proof and there weren't people on their side, they could absolutely get sued for whatever the contract is because this would be libel. So that's why the Columbus Blue Jackets would have to investigate and a bunch of other stuff, right? That being said, they have been in tune with the players. The reason that people are so mad at Barstool and hate them so much is that while... There's a lot of misogyny and dipshittery going on there. They also have their fingers on the pulse of the, the players and the people in the league a lot better than uh, other groups. They just do. So I don't, I buy it. I'm buying every word of this. It seems 100% accurate that he would want to do that. It also does seem illegal. 
I don't know if it is. It just feels illegal and gross. It just does. I don't know. Here's Rachel Diori, who covers hockey data for the hockey news. Nothing wrong with taking an interest in your players. The fact that so many took that podcast with any level of seriousness on a subject that this matter is concerning. I'm glad they, the NHLPA, are looking into it because it is a serious allegation. Let's all consider the source. Listen, I agree. You got to consider the source. That being said, I don't know, man. This is uh, Mike Commodore's. This is 100% true. I mean, <sighs> yikes. Other stuff going on. Jim Trotter is suing the NFL over his termination. If the black players don't like it here, they should go back to Africa and see how bad it is. That's something that Bill's owner, Terry Pagula, is alleged to have said. And he, this is Jim Trotter in a lawsuit is alleging that Terry Pagula said that. And now Cal, the, uh, he's alleging that Jerry Jones said, if blacks feel some kind of way, they should buy their own team and hire who they want to hire regarding the lack of black professionals in decision-making positions of NFL teams. Those are damning allegations. I would say that Jerry, I mean, they're going to deny them. And if you don't have my video, no, this is not going to matter. You know, that's just how... That's just how that goes, which is fair, I think. So we'll, we'll pay attention to the Jim Trotter thing for sure. And the Mel Tucker firing, he sexually harassed the woman who is a sexual assault survivor and is on Michigan State's campus. He allegedly did this on Michigan State's campus to teach people about sexual assault and harassment. Not a great look. Michigan State does not have a great reputation as a pillar of excellence for ethics in any way. And when this came out, uh, my response was like, yeah, that tracks. Duh. Of course that would happen there. Absolutely. Obviously. <sighs> so we're going to watch this hockey thing. Controversial Wednesday. How much fun is that? How much fun is it to learn what's going on? What the hell is going on with Mike Babcock? Yay. Matthew Stafford, Teddy Bridgewater, Carson Wentz. Jameis Winston. Oh, we're going to find out who the new Jets quarterback is going to be. Robert Salas said, quote, this is Zach Wilson's team. I don't buy that. Not for a second. Okay, bye. Bye.